YouTube. I'm back again today with another video. And um, for today's video, I'm going to uh, basically be doing a tutorial on how to play your PS5 over your mobile data connection. You could also use your PS4 as well over your mobile data connection. But before we get into the video, I need you guys to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And also don't forget to hit the bell notification so you could be notified whenever I upload a video. And without further ado, let's get into it. So right here, I'm gonna click on Game Launcher. And as you guys may know, the Sony Remote Play does not allow you to play Remote Play over your mobile connection only on Wi-Fi, but I have a third party app right here, which is PlayStation Play. And this app will allow you to play over your mobile data connection and Wi-Fi, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on PlayStation Play, right? And this app, if you guys wanna download this app, you could download this app right from the Google Play Store. The app is $4.99 plus tax, it's worth the money, especially if you don't want to be um, limited to having to only use Wi-Fi for remote play. Another thing I wanted to say to you guys as well is the DualSense controller does not work on remote play via Bluetooth. You would have to use a PS4 controller on Bluetooth in order to play your PS5 um via remote play okay so with that out the way let's continue now um what we want to do is we want to scroll down here right and as you guys can see right here on my screen where it says register new ps5 um or ps4 and under that you have configure internet access now when you click on configure internet access, what this is basically going to do is it's going to automatically configure your router in order to use this app um, on your mobile data connection. And um, sometimes it will say uh, that your um, router does not allow for you to do auto configuration and you would have to do it manually from uh, to your router. Okay, um, let me show you guys what that looks like. So, um, by the way, my PS5 is already registered, but um, when I hit auto configurate, I'm gonna show you guys what happens. Okay, PlayStation found configuring router. Now you see I have an error message here. It said could not automatically conf configure router error zero times 16 failed to automatically configure your router for playing over the internet your router does not allow automatic configuration you must set up port forwarding manually you can find all of all the information here so if this happens you're going to just click on this okay we're going to scroll down okay we're going to go past that and right here where it says zero times 16 we're going to click here and it's going to take us to this right and we're going to scroll down so now you have to add the codes manually so you're going to use this right here the one where it says 9302 uh ps5 only if you have ps4 then you're going to use UDP 987 PS4 only okay and then under these codes you have the other codes right here you have 9295 9296 9297 you're going to put the rest of these codes whichever whichever um console you have or system you have you're going to use these codes all right now let's exit out of this and let me show you what these codes look like on my router every router looks different but I'm showing you what it looks like on my router. So here we are. Excuse me. 
Okay, so we're going to click on Network in general. Okay, we're going to go to Advanced Networking, right? Got that out the way. Now we're going to go to Port Management. And as you guys can see right here on my screen, I have the codes set up how I need them to be set up. And this is how you're going to set them up within your router as well. If it doesn't if it doesn't um automatically configure this is how you manually configure the um codes in order to use the uh playstation play app um over your mobile data connection you put the codes in just like this how you see on my screen okay now let's exit out of that so we can continue okay now we're going to go here okay um, let me click on the app again. We're going to press OK. So what I'm going to basically do now is I'm going to turn off my Wi-Fi. All right, let's turn that off. All right. So I turned off my Wi-Fi. Now, currently my PS5 is in rest mode. So what I'm going what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Direct Connect. Okay. I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to click on wake and connect. You guys should hear the beep in the background, okay? It's going to take a little while to boot up and everything, so just be patient. Wake PS5, please wait. Yes, sir. Please wait. Testing connection. Okay. And now we are currently on remote play. And I'm using my mobile data connection. All right. So let's see how everything runs. See if everything is operational. Okay. Okay, it appears everything is working just fine. Alright, so now I'm going to click the PlayStation button. And I'm going to put this back into rest mode. Alright guys, so there you have it. Um, pretty much that's all you have to do. Um, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Once again, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification for the, um, so you don't miss an upload. And, um, once again, you could download this app from the Google play store and it's four ninety nine. You do have to pay for the app and it also has tax, but the app is worth it. And I love this app. Um, I just discovered this today because this app was updated to work with the PS5. So now you could play on Wi-Fi and you could also use your mobile data connection. Okay. Um, 4G LTE as well. You could use that as well. Um, you know, as long as you, you know, as long as your service providers service is pretty good, you should be straight. But uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Um, take care and happy gaming.